Welcome to Zero Hero, a short video blog from HBA and Compass aimed to make your zero journey easier. Please note that all the slides today have been created from existing Zero training videos. Zero has rapidly changed in the past few years, so sometimes the pictures that are used are old screenshots or overseas versions. Where possible, each session is followed up by a live demonstration. If you have any queries regarding any contact delivered today, feel free to contact me via email victoria at hbaencompass.com.au or phone 0754 447094. Welcome to Smart Lists. Smart Lists are a feature in Xero that can be used for marketing. It can also be used for quicker types of reports of, of things that may be of interest to you. The theory behind it is really to do with sales and being able to manage your, your clients and seeing who you sell the most to and that kind of stuff or people that haven't bought for a while so that you can go back to them and, and remind them. It's a feature that I suppose is, is trying to double up a little bit as a CRM system. Um, if you have a, another CRM system then you probably wouldn't bother with this but it's just something that the Xero does have. So under your contacts there's a button here called Smart Lists. Zero has some standard ones that you can do that have purchased or have outstanding fees or ha have actually bought off you in the last year. But the ability is here in these conditions to be able to, to target it for whatever you want from your customers. A matter of, of clicking down and just adding a condition. So the first one is purchased or not purchased, um, invoice, payments, location or contact group. And then you click on more than or you can be specific or is. So it's a, something that you probably need to have a play around with yourself to actually see how it can work for you. But for this here, we can do a list of customers who've spent more than $250 in the last year on hiking boots from Oaktown. Now that's extremely, extremely specific. But if they then wanted to do a campaign out to people who bought these boots and say it's a camping retailer and do they want a walking pole to try and upsell, then you can use this to, to drill down the information that you want from these customers. Is it'll actually give you a, a list of them and their email address. You can export it to CSV or you can export it to a program like Constant Contact. Constant Contact is an um, automatic mailing system like MailChimp and a few of the others. For some reason they've dovetailed in with Xero and managed to get the export themselves put in this feature, whereas the others haven't. Um, I would assume as time goes on that the others will, will wake up to us and, and get into that one. Um, I've never heard of it until I actually went through it and produced the information for these slides. I didn't even know that you could do this. I knew you could export it, but didn't know what Constant Contact was. So then you can have these people as emails and you can send them an email and go, hey, you bought some boots, how's your hiking going? Do you need a walking stick to, to help you up those big hills or whatever marketing people do? Okay, you can save your search. So if you want to go back and, and rerun that one, you might run it once every six months or something like that. You can go back and, and do that. Or as I said, there is a, a few of Xero's pre-search, pre-saved ones. And the, the outstanding number of days ones is a, another feature of being able to chase up your debtors as opposed to just sending straight um, statements out from the accounts receivable area. So you can actually target it to, to those that, that are outstanding for periods of time. You might run it each week or, or something like that if you wanted to. The other thing that you can do is you can add those customers to a contact group. Now contact groups can be used again to, to send specific information out. One of the reasons that we use contact groups a lot here is for reportable payments systems. So when people in the building industry have subcontractors that they need to report on each year, then we would go in and, and do a smart list and, um, and pull up the, the subcontractors. And that way we can get a group of them to be able to automatically upload that report to the tax office and that reports are a, a few weeks away as far as our learning goes but just to give you a, an idea of what we could use it for. 
but you can see here that, that these guys have used a, a contact group call them hiking boots so it might be an easy way to, to keep track of it and let's have a look at these smart lists of course Zero has its little videos that you can go in more information that you can go in but I'm going to create one here I'm just going to make it up we're going to have someone who hasn't purchased any item in the last four weeks and hopefully there's someone there that'll show me <laughs> okay so we can see that these people here haven't purchased anything for you in the last week we can then pick them and so probably not the bank because we're not gonna but we can actually then add them to a contact group or export them to CSV which you can see has their details their attention their shop address and if you then use something like MailChimp or one of the other email programs you can put it in there so you can do a nice email blast or you can just import it straight into your Outlook or Gmail or whatever it happens to be and, and send a letter out to them saying hey haven't heard from you in a while uh, just let you know what our specials are or whatever it happens to be so it is a, a good tool the other thing that you can do there if we go purchase any item in the last year and run search you can then sort by total and there's your biggest customers so you can actually do a list of your, your biggest customers so it's it's quite easy to if you ever want to have a look at, at who you sell a lot to and, and who you need to be super nice to that you can actually get that information there my name is Victoria Berry I'm one of the directors of, of HBA and Compass so if you need to contact me my email address is victoria at HBA and Compass dot com dot au or of course our phone number is oh seven five four double four seven zero nine four thanks for listening